Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and in this video, I want to go over how we can do child anchors and pivots really quickly because in the last one, uh, or one of the last ones, whatever order you watched it in, hopefully you watched the last one, uh, we learned about anchor points and pivots, and we got this button to stretch across the bottom here. So what I want to try to do is I want to try to make this text here always show up in the bottom right. Why? I don't know. Just because. So if we look at the hierarchy, we have the canvas, button, and text. And the text is inside of the button. That means it is, that it is relative to the button itself. So if I wanted to make the text in the bottom right, notice it has its own anchor points, or pivot points, and its own anchor. Its current anchor is set to stretch. I won't do that anymore. I'll say, hey, go to the bottom right. And I'll set up my positions here, zero, zero. Now, of course, the text is going to be off screen because we didn't set our pivots. I want my pivot to be on the right hand side and I want it to be at the uh, top. So if we go zero, zero, it gets our text here. Now, uh, notice that our text is actually taking up the entire width here because uh, we have this whole width here. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I'm completely blind. The Y should be zero. Uh, there we go. Now, what I want is that I want to change the width here. So let's change the width, blah, 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 blah. And let's make it like 50. So now it's on this right hand side. And I want it against the bottom as close as possible. Of course, my height is 30, so it actually is in the bottom. Of course, I could change that height to get it to be exactly the size of button if I wish. And now it's in the bottom right. And this. <laughs> pardon me, will scale uniformly. So now our text will remain in the bottom right and our button will continue to stretch. So we have uh, two different setups for our anchors and pivots. And we have our pivot and our anchor for our text inside of our button. We have our pivot and our anchor for our button. So you could imagine if a text had a child object, then its anchor and pivot would be relative to the text's uh, anchor and pivot which is important to note because then you can think about child and parent relationships and make it easier to make uh, UI that you can maybe prefab or anything like that and stick in and pull out whatever you want uh, really quickly and easily and have it look great. So that's how you can deal with child anchors and pivots. Um, it's much the same as the last one. In fact, in the last one, we did work with child anchors and pivots. We just didn't think about it. But the button is a child of canvas, so we were working as a child. Uh, we're, in this one, we just worked with the child of a child. So enough rambling. That's that. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, uh, comments, or concerns, and like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.